Okay. Good evening. Good evening to everyone. Oh, thank you for being here today. Okay. 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 Let's it. Let's start. Okay. Assalamualaikum and good evening to everyone. Thank you for being here tonight. So let introduce ourselves first. So my name is Muhammad Nabil bin Azhari. My metric number is 208426. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Haziq bin Muhidi. Uh, my matrix number is 208526. Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good evening. My name is Abdul Hanif Hakimi bin Abdul Hakim and my matrix number is 208492 and I from uh, Bachelor Science. Uh... Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Salman Azmi bin Zahri. My matrix number is 208380. Assalamualaikum and very good evening. My name is Fian Ashraf. Okay, so we are here today to discuss about our thought or view about banning of smoking in eateries uh, violating the right of people. So, the numbers of people who smoke have increased over the years although they are equipped with the knowledge of how unhealthy smoking can be. People still choose to smoke. It is a personal choice and highly addictive habit. Smokers choose to subject themselves to the health risk of smoking. It is not for the government or any third party to dictate whether or not a person should be allowed to smoke. However, smoking does not only affect the smokers negatively. It also affect all the people around those who smoke because when people smoke in the public, the smoke travels everywhere uh, in the air and the negative effect of this smoke uh, all living, breathing creatures. Therefore, smoking should be banned in all public places. People who smoke in public portraits a bad example. Children are easily influenced in their growing stage. They imitate the people around them because they cannot differentiate between right and wrong. Therefore, they perceive the actions they see around them as the way things should be. Besides that, teenagers who see people smoke in public take it as precedent to start smoking as well. There's a saying that goes, monkeys see monkeys, which tells us that people imitate the action of others as they see it in their daily life. Teenagers happen to think that smoking makes a person cool. When they see adults doing it on the street, it strengthens their belief in the coolness of smoking. Some teenagers think that smoking marks their transition into adulthood and maturity. Hence, more teenagers start smoking due to the influence of seeing other people smoke in public places. So, uh, what is your thought on this impact, Hazid? Uh, in the past, I would have said that uh, banning smoking is in fact a violation of human rights because I'm like, well, it's their choice to smoke, right? But that was me in the past. Why did I think about uh, it that way in the past? Uh, because uh, other, in other countries, uh, smoking in eateries is actually uh, accepted, uh, acceptable and is actually uh, still done nowadays. Let's say in, in Japan where uh, in pubs and some other restaurants, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they are still allowed to smoke in public. However, uh, my view has been changed in recent times because um, as Nabil has said earlier, uh, smoking not only affects uh, the smoker, but also uh, the people around them. In the past, I thought like, oh, 
it's their choice to smoke. Why should it? Uh, why should they be uh, not allowed to smoke in public? But then again, when you think about it over and over again, uh, what about the uh, other people around them? Like, let's say uh, the uncle that has asthma who likes to eat at the same restaurant, uh, the uh, auntie who has some other health problems. It's like uh, at the restaurant, it's not just you who who the smoker uh, is the customer that uh, other customers also have their own rights to be having air that is safe to breathe. Uh, besides that, uh, one of the articles that I've read actually mentions that uh, the ban actually helps some of the smokers uh, to save money and encourages them to smoke less over time. Uh, one of the respondents in that article said that uh, usually when he goes around and hangs out with friends, uh, he smokes around several sticks at a time when he's hanging out with friends. But because of the ban, he uh, only smokes at home or uh, in when he's in his own vehicle, let's say uh, in his own car, but not at the restaurant. So like uh, in his own car, it's only one or two sticks at a time in comparison to the four or five sticks that he would have uh, smoked at the restaurant. So it uh, it helped him save uh, quite a significant amount of money, as well as uh, help him to wean off the habit of smoking uh, a, a pack a day, something like that. Um, I think that will be all for me for now, but I think uh, if there's anything else, I, I think I'll just come in and add on. Okay, interesting point, has it? So let's hear a point from Hanif. So, what is your thought, Hanif? Uh, agri business. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Nabil and Hazik. So, uh, in my opinion, I very disagree when someone has smokes in the in the terrace. E terrace area, area, a restaurant, a restaurant and publics. This is because it will disturb others who want to eat in the area. For the example, uh, when there are families with uh, small children, it will disturb the child health when they inhale the harmful smell of cigarette smoke. As we know, the cigarette are very dangerous to health because they have uh, various type of harmful substances such as uh, nicotine tobacco and tar and so on lah. Uh, and I very sure that strong that I very disagree when someone uh, smoke in the terrorist area. Like, uh, and, and our government, such as, such as our government have do some law that uh, uh, when someone want to smoke in the uh, restaurant or public area, we have to take a uh, distance about three meters from the table in the restaurant. So I think uh, the uh, government have made uh, the good law uh, for, from the smoker will uh, disturb other, other person. Okay, I think uh, that's all from me now. So I produce to Mohamed Nabil. Okay, that's exactly how I see it, Hanif. So, what is your thought, uh, Fian? Uh, okay, uh, I just want to uh, extra uh, to highlight about uh, Hanif uh, said about uh, can be dangerous to uh, like uh, pregnant woman. Uh, from uh, we, we know uh, like uh, the if uh, people smoking uh, in the restaurant and being surrounded by uh, a customer such as a pregnant woman, uh, it will cause uh, a bad uh, help for in the baby in the body. So because uh, the smoke that contain such as uh, carbon monoxide and some uh, toxic that can cause uh, baby uh, that can cause uh, help baby damage. Uh, for example, that uh, the baby can uh, become uh, 
low in uh, oxygen uh, available in the body. And then the baby will increase their heart rate. And the most uh, dangerous is it will risk that the baby will uh, born premature uh, or born uh, in with low weight. So uh, it will cause uh, baby, it will cause baby unhealth uh, to the future. That's, that's a problem. Thank you. I could not agree with you more, Fian. So let us hear more from Said. So Said, what is your opinion about this impact? Okay, uh, since the government has been, uh, or the government has prohibited uh, smoking and at least or restaurant, uh, in my opinion, in my view, government took a good move to ban smoking and at least. In my view, it's a not a violence to smokers when smoking is uh, prohibited in at least. I am the one of the person who not uh, comfortable with the uh, cigarette smoke. So I think it is uh, very uh, near, this topic very near to me. So when smoking in a we know that uh, the customer who came to restaurant uh, came from a uh, various age. There will be uh, others or uh, children. The non-smoker or the passive smoker, also we can uh, call them as a second-hand smoker, who is uh, the one those who not smoke, those who not smoke, but are subject to cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoke. Uh, this could lead to uh, discomfort uh, in breath. This is not uh, violate the right uh, of others or to smoker. However, when a person smoke in the public, he actually uh, violating the basic right by expose them to various hazard. So, um, in my view, uh, I think uh, there is no right for smoker to uh, smoke in a public or in electric, especially. So, uh, I'm glad to hear other opinion. Uh, thank you. Okay, uh, we have here uh, all of the opinion. So, anyone want to add some point? Or maybe uh, other thoughts? Yes, uh, Azik? I think I would add a bit more. Uh, this is from a different article. Uh, from what I've read from this article, it said that uh, a large number of smokers, uh, they were actually fine with uh, this new law, this law, because uh, they said like, well, uh, it's not the only place that they can smoke. They still can still smoke uh, in their private uh, properties and other places. And they're like, it's okay because they understand that uh, other customers may not be comfortable with uh, their smoking. So like uh, many smokers, uh, as we can see in Malaysia, are very thoughtful people who are uh, okay with uh, not being able to smoke at restaurants because they can still do it in other places. Yes, uh, I agree with uh, Hazi uh, for that point. So we can uh, also see uh, most uh, of the places in Malaysia uh, have the uh, smoke area like at airport. We can see the the smoke area, the smoking area. So people uh, we smoke at there and not disturbing the public. Interesting that you said that because some may argue that by preventing smokers from smoking in public, it infringes upon their rights. It is true that smokers have right, and this right should be infringed. Uh, brief clean air uh, consideration as well. When people smoke uh, in public area, the toxic fume travel through the air and into lungs and others. Many non-smokers breathe in the second hand smoke and as a result, their health is compromised. Should non-smoker be subjected to this unhealthy and vile smelling fume every time a smoker choose to light up a cigarette? Certainly not. Smoking is a personal choice and people can choose to smoke but others should not be subjected to the health risks that come from inhaling secondhand smoke. People's right to breathe fresh and clean air should be protected. 
and along with their right to maintain a healthy lifestyle without breathing in secondhand smoke should be protected too. So, uh, in conclusion, the decisive fact is that public smoking is not just uh, detrimental to the person who smoke, but is but it is also harmful to people nearby. Smoking is a negatively externality for society. Therefore, it is uh, necessary for government to intervene. The government is a regulator and if cost exceed benefit, the situation must be changed. People should understand that this regulation is a step forward. There are many parks and streets covered by cigarettes on the ground. Normally, we can see children playing in the playground and everywhere there are cigarette butts. Many, many restaurants and so smoke fill that our eyes burn and clothes smells. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you.